Hey everyone. Today I brought another video. I'm gonna be playing Subnautica on Intel GMA 4500 and it is insane. Actually I don't say that it is not playable because I can have 10 to 15 FPS. Not that bad. Even on Intel GMA. I didn't even expect that this game would work on this crap. And another thing. I did a little trick and multiplied my dedicated video memory by 2. Now, it is 128 megabytes. Actually I don't think that affects to the performance because it's kinda like a fake memory. So let's get started. This is how the game looks like when you first time launch it. The resolution is your monitor's optimal resolution. And the graphics are kinda high. And also a lot of glitches. Don't worry. I know how to fix the glitches. It works 100%. Now, let's change the settings. First, change the resolution to 480p. I recommend 480p because in lower resolutions, it's hard to read stuff. If you can't lower the resolution more than 720p or if there are any problems with the resolution, just comment down below. I will help you to fix it. And this huge white glitch can be fixed by turning off Bloom. Now turn off anti-aliasing quality and dithering. Now the other performance enhancements and the glitch can be fixed while playing. So let's play. It's getting about 3 minutes and 30 seconds to load the game. So, as you can see the FPS is around 5 and it's not playable. But I will teach you how to increase the FPS to 10 to 15. Now, hit F8 in order to release the cursor. And then, hit F3 to unlock the hidden menu. Now, change the texture quality to 1. Then, turn off ambient particles. And the important thing is turning on water surface. It's gonna fix the glitch. And shader level of detail to 400. If you think increasing level of detail instead of decreasing is a bad idea, just take a quick look at this. Increasing level of details is gonna decrease the details of game objects. That's why I'm doing this. And this is important too. It's level of detail group bias. It's similar to the render distance in Minecraft. I'm not gonna change it right now. I will show you how to do that in a moment. Now, hit F1. In this window, go to the Others tab. Now, change the collisions to false. And chunk size to 8. Also the level of detail distance to 1. That's all. Oh I forgot about the level of detail group bias. Let me show you. Now, jump into the pod. Then we can adjust it. Look, it's gonna make objects disappear. So take it to the lowest as you can. Don't take it to 0.01. It's gonna make disappear a lot of stuff. So, that's all the things you can do to boost the FPS. Take a look at the FPS. It's already increased. Without recording, the average FPS is 13 which is not bad compared to 5. If you feel still laggy, you could just reduce the resolution even more. But it's gonna be hard to read such as the PDA. It's your choice. So that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did leave a like and a comment. And don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Have a nice day.